She did. Taraji Kelly ain't do Rowan shit. walked off the set of the Today Show. That ain't the Taraji. The dressing wasn't up to par. She was co-hosting with Hoda, and it wasn't it. I've co-hosted with Hoda, and I've arrived there, and the makeup area that you touch up in is often a drop cloth, like a black drop cloth. And then your dressing room is the size of a closet, and you're trying to fit all your people in the clown car. And you know what? You're so excited. You're so gracious. You're co-hosting on the Today Show an institution in entertainment, a news organization that is not about fancy dressing rooms. The makeup area is completely communal. The food is like grab a croissant and some plastic and pray for the best. And it's just not what that's about. And it's an honor to be there and to sit down with Hoda. And that was not the moment for diva expectations. Oh y'all, I'm glad. I'm st I'm sh I'm muting the fuck up now. I just wanted to play this real quick to get that opinion out to hear yours. Cause you cut me off. What you got to say, babe? I know you got it. I seen it on your face. And just because she wants what she wanted or whatever the reason was, did she get that from Kelly? That that's what was wanted? Did Kelly say? what it was or what what happened type situation if she just left how, like if you're fine with that okay then you're fine with that mm -hmm. but because you're not fine she wasn't fine with that okay she, that's her choice and what her choice was instead of if she did do that instead of going back and forth saying I want this I want that I want this she just left Okay, it is what it is. And then they called your second ass up. Because you have the first option. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so, of course, you're going to be humble and okay with what the, whatever the fuck it is that's in there. Because you wasn't invited to the party to begin with. You probably wasn't even a second fucking thought. They probably had somebody else. And they said, well, nope, they said they busy. Okay, well, let's let's go with this drunk bitch. So you called her a suckety ass. Because <laughs> what? Who the fuck cares about Bethany nowadays? Nobody. <laughs> she called nobody <laughs> knows the trouble I see. Of course that's a great opportunity for you because nobody cares about nobody what you got going on. Nobody knows but me. Now that you done did this, now you're circulating. They're like, oh, that's her. Yeah, that's or, what we was talking about. So we ain't going to blame, we're not going to blame Taraji P for like, uh, black women now wanting to stand and to be no like, because she wasn't the first one to do that. Who else? Taraji wasn't the first one to do that. Monique who? did that shit before her. Right. It's plenty of people that that has done the diva shit and whatever people want to call it. They want what they want. Taraji's thing was she didn't want what she just wanted. She wanted for everybody. We talking today? Girl. No, you just oh. being irrelevant right now, with the Okay. Get him going. <laughs> Holy shit. You just be nah. irrelevant with stuff. <laughs> Did y'all not just hear her? She had an opinion this time. This wasn't irrelevant. So Taraji, so Taraji ain't do it. No. Okay. You said he did. You did say he did. Taraji wanted for this for people and Taraji st stayed there, right? You know this might taste better than this little water down. But do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Taraji ain't say I'm not getting this, so I'm leaving. She said if if, this, if that's the case, give it to everybody. The way she put it is Kelly said, nah, this ain't working, I'm out. So that's two different things. I know. Kelly said, I don't need this. Taraji said I need this check, so we're gonna have to figure some shit out. <laughs> 